everybody, this is Connie. I do have a haul for you, but I wanted to explain that haul. Um, everybody knows the situation that I'm in with losing my job and just not being able to pay my rent and my, you know, um, internet, stuff like that. Well, I got, for Christmas, my mom and my son went in together and I got a Ulta gift card. And the haul is from that Alta gift card. Um, this isn't even all of it. I still have a, a little tiny bit left on the card. But I wanted to reassure everybody that I did not go out and buy this with my own money. Um, I got an Alta gift card and that is what this is from. So let's just get started. I do have quite a bit of stuff here. Um, the first thing I pull out is um, an old standby of mine. I've always, I've used this for years, and I absolutely love it. They changed the packaging, and I, I rather like it. It is oil, it is Olay Gentle Cling Forming, for, Foaming Cleanser, and I've used this on my face for many years. Um, it is, what it says is gentle clean, formulated specifically for the special needs of sensitive skin. This gentle cleanser refreshes and cares for your skin. Rich, foamy lather, 100% soap-free and 100% oil-free. And I love this stuff. I love the way it smells. I love the, you know, what it does for me. Uh, I'm just going to take everything out of here. See if there's anything else in here. I'm sorry about this. Got a few paper things here that I thought I would show you. Okay, so I got a um, sample of Gucci Bamboo, of Hugo Boss, Victor Cruz looks like. No, there is Victor Cruz the guy. It's Boss by Hugo Boss, I believe. And this one is Escada Agua del Sol. Okay. Alright, so the next things that I got were, um, remember I got this in my haul last week, um, the Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. I got the Lumi cushion foundation also and this is by L'Oreal um, it's true match Lumi cushion and the color I got was W2 I believe that is in light ivory and what it is is you open it up and there's the cushion that you use um, open this up to keep everything sealed and then you take this off and there is the cushion there what I'm going to do next week sometime, um, I don't know when, but soon, is I'm going to do a battle of the cushions, one on one side, one on the other side, and see how they compare. Okay. Um, I also got a couple extra of these. These are just, the, um, they're washable, uh, two powder puffs. The puffs minimize shine and give skin a velvety finish. Fits most compacts for quick touch-ups. Um, I hope they'll work anyway. I would think so, and they are washable, so I got two of those. I got um, a nail recovery kit. This is by Nail Tech, and it restores damaged nails, repairs acrylic, and gel damage, strengthens nails, and mo moisturizes cuticles. And it shows a before and after picture there. Uh, but I took my acrylic nails off, and I have severe damage to my nails. So I thought I would try that. 
I also got where is the other one? Um, this is um, Nail Polish Duo 2B Colors and they're just minis. One is kind of like a mauve pink color and then the other is the gold sparkles. And then I got this and this here is just a and it's it's an Essie nail polish. Uh, Lux Effects is what it's called. Pure Pureflexion. And it's just like a, a pearl topper, I think, that you put on top of nail coats, I believe. Okay. Got another foundation by um, Dream Velvet. This is new. It's Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And it's in number 15 Ivory. And there's one ounce in there. I got a um, Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Oh, that's just a little one too. Kind of like the um, the Ulta one. A little short one. And then I got one other one too. And this is Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I don't have anything by Anastasia. This is the first thing I've gotten. And this is Tinted Brow Gel. Comes in a box like this. Ooh, excuse me. Like this. And it is um, brunette and brunette. And that one's got a thicker mascara wand. Wow, this ought to be fun trying to do that. That's got a really long mascara. Anybody use this? What did you think? Okay. I got a um, CoverGirl Mascara, the Supersizer. Everybody has been raving about that that I've seen, that that's their kind of holy grail mascara. So I thought I would try it. I did get the non-waterproof, which I don't know if that was a mistake or not because I have to use waterproof most of the time because my eyes water. So we will see, I guess. I got another brow um, product. This one is Brow This Way by Rimmel. Defines and fills. Um, it is in the color medium brown. Take that out of the package. I'm going to find a holy grail one of these yet. I love the tinted brows, the mascara type stuff. So we will see. I'm not going to buy any more. This is it. And that's what that one looks like. That one's got a pretty average um, spoolie on it. Okay, so then, let's see here. I think that's it except for I got some lipsticks. I got some makeup brushes. Now, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But I have been wanting some of these since um, I first saw them. They are the real techniques and the, the um, special pack, the bold metals collection. I love real techniques, so I thought if I can get this open. I hate this plastic stuff. I'm always afraid that I'm going to cut my fingers. don't know how this is. There we go. Oh, come on. Jeez, this is really... Oh, that really pisses me off. this. 
Oh, I hate that. This is all sticky in the back now. Oh, that irritates me. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so soft. And it's rather heavy, too. Anyway, I got another one. I got the blush one also. I'm not going to take that one out of the package just yet. They're so beautiful, though. Okay, now I'll go on to my lipsticks that I got. I got two Burt's Bees lipsticks. This one is in uh, 502 Suede Splash. Aren't they neat, the packages? They're just neat. Does this say Suede Okay, so I can take the sticker off. Um, I am going to wash my hand off because I've still got a little bit of swatching from my last video. Watched. Dry my hand off here. Okay, this is Suede Splash, and it's so pretty. These are um, not real opaque. There, it takes a bit to build these up because they are kind of like balms. Anyway, that's what that one looks like. And I will swatch the other one also in and show you. This one is in the color Lily Lake. And this one looks more on my, my speed right there. So pretty. I love I like this one better actually. There's that one, see? And there there was suede here. And then here is Lily. So pretty. Okay. Next one I got was an infallible Pro Matte Gloss, which is really confusing to me because this acts more like a matte lipstick than a gloss. I mean, there's nothing... It's thick. It's not like a gloss. It's weird. Anyway, I got the color... L'Oreal 316 Statement Nude. You'll be able to see what I mean. See, look at that. That does not look like a gloss. But I just wanted to try one of these. I, I saw Tati um, doing a, a video on these, and I thought, I'm going to have to try those. Okay, I got three more lipsticks, and these are in the Rimmel. Oh, what do they call these? No, there's no packaging on them. They are the only one lipstick. The only one lipstick is what they're called. And this color is it's a Keeper 200. Let's wipe my hand off and just start over with those three. Okay, so this one is, it's a keeper. This is what they look like. I, I kind of like those kind. That's that one. Very pretty. I like it a lot. This one is 800 Under My Spell. This one looks more like a fuchsia, kind of, or a dark, darker berry. There's that one. And one more I got. I don't know why I got three of these, but I did. This one is 700 Naughty Nude. That is a pretty nude. So pretty. I love all three of those, actually. Anyway, I took this box over and showed my mom what I got. And, you know, she's not... She kind of rolls her eyes, you know. She's 
she's 86 years old, so she doesn't get the whole makeup craze that I'm going through. Um, so she just kind of rolled her eyes, but she had asked me what I wanted, and I told her, I said, that, you know, I either an Ulta or a Sephora gift card. So my son's wife is the one that just went and got it, and she got me an Ulta one, and I'm very happy with everything. I think I've got like $10 left on a card. I, I don't know why I didn't just spend it. I didn't. Um, but it was a $150 gift card, and this stuff here cost me about $140. So it was expensive. Um, if only I would have had that cash instead of the, <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.